In this video, we're going over how to use the portal for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to do just a beginner's walkthrough of how to use the portal by Facebook. And starting with the buttons, so at the very top of the portal, you will have a button here. This is your privacy button where you can completely turn off the camera and the microphone. So on the front here, you've got your camera, which you would use if you wanted to video chat with someone or face uh, Facebook Messenger someone video chat. If you don't plan on using that feature or you're not using it right now, you can turn this all the way to the left and it will totally block out the camera. It also turns off the microphone. There is a built-in microphone on the portal so you can use it as a voice assistant. You can say, hey, portal, and ask it to um, set timers for you, search things online, uh, call people. Um, it's an optional feature. If you don't wish to use that feature, just make sure your slider is all the way to the left and your microphone will be turned off as well as the camera. If you put it to the middle, this will still disable the camera, but it will enable the microphone so you can interact with your portal with your voice. All the way to the right will enable the camera as well as the microphone, which is the ideal setting if you do want to call someone and have a video chat, you would need to have that on. On the left side here, you do have some volume buttons here, volume up, volume down to control the sound, and no buttons on the right side. Next, we just tap the screen to wake it up. This is the uh, first screen you'll see. It is the video calling screen where you can simply hit add favorites. And with prompt favorites, you can um, add people that you call frequently so that it's easy to um, call them when you want to. Their faces will just show up right across the screen here. Right now, we don't have any favorites enabled, but um, just by hitting the add button, it will go through your Facebook account and allow you to select anyone that you want to be a favorite. And you can just simply just tap on them and then hit the add button at the bottom right here. And then they'll be on that main screen for you. Now, if you haven't watched our how to set up the portal video yet, I would tell you to stop this video and go watch our how to set up the portal first because that video will walk you through how to link up your Facebook account and how to put it on Wi-Fi and how to do all the basic setup to get you to this main screen. So we'll have a link to that video in the upper right corner. You can feel free to stop, go watch that video and then come back and you might be a little more caught up. Anyone who's already set it up and you're at this place, we'll keep on moving. So swiping to the left, this will take you to your app screen where you can see contacts, Go on the web. You can look at all the different apps that are available for the portal here. You can do a Facebook Live and start your own video and broadcast to all your Facebook friends. You have some Facebook gaming where you can play games through Facebook. iHeartRadio and Pandora listen to music as well as Spotify. A fun app called Photo Booth where you can take pictures and have different uh, masks and different things on. And you've got your settings right here. Swipe it to the left again, you'll find more of your applications and also shortcuts to your favorite websites. Check out our tips and tricks video. We show you how to bookmark a website and add it to your home screen. You'll see a link for that video in the right corner. From here, there's some important things you'll need to know about how to navigate your portal. And the first thing is that at the top of the screen here, you have this little button. Now this button changes depending on what screen you're on. So if I'm on the home screen already, this button is gonna have a picture on it. And by tapping it, it will automatically take you to the slideshow option that will show different pictures from your Facebook. Now if I'm in, for example, if I'm in anything, if I'm in an app or on the web or doing anything, this icon will change to a picture of a little house because it is your home button and by tapping it, it will take you back to your home screen. So again, when you're on the home screen, it will take you to your 
photo gallery or your slideshow of pictures, kind of making your portal a photo frame. And when you're in something, it does become the home button. Next, you'll have uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can swipe up to control the volume of your portal aside from the buttons. You can also control your screen brightness as well. So I can make it brighter or darker all from right here. You can also toggle your settings. So this is a night mode setting. So tapping it would put it into night mode. Tapping it again would turn it off. Right here, you'll have a um, button that will turn off the entire screen. So if you want the screen to just be off, you would swipe up and tap here and it just totally turns off the screen until you're ready to use it and you just tap the screen to turn it back on. So that's that. Now, if you're playing music, just to show you an example, I'm gonna play a song from Pandora. So Pandora's playing. I'm gonna go home. And if I wanna control that music, all I have to do is just swipe up and it will show up as an option at the bottom here. And I can simply continue playing it, pause it, or I can hit this button to jump to the next song. So that's how you control any music that's playing through the portal. Now on the upper right corner, you'll have the little profile icon, the tap on that. Here you can actually link up the portal and use it with, um, or you can have someone else who has a Facebook account switch to their account. So for example, if I'm signed in, and I wanna video chat my mom, I can do it through my Facebook account. And then my wife might be signed in and she may wanna to switch to her account and she may wanna FaceTime with her parents or with her family. So you can easily switch between accounts um, from this setting right here. And when you're done, obviously you can hit the home button here to take us back to the main screen. Another thing is, when you're in an app, in the left corner, you have a back button. So by tapping this, it does take you back one screen or one step. So if you tap something by accident, you can just hit that little button that will show up in the corner and that will take you back one step. Other than that, that's it. That's how you use your Portal Mini. It's actually very user friendly and there really is not that much to it. Now, let me go over this uh, one other thing because I think it's important. I sort of touched on the beginning how to add someone as a favorite right here, but if we just wanted to make a general call, you can go to choose from contacts here, or you can go to contacts right here, and it will show all of your Facebook contacts. You can easily uh, find the person you want to call and just tap on the little camera icon you'll find right here, right next to their name. So that's just really easy to call that person. You can also toggle through recent calls, um, messenger, anyone who is just online, and you can toggle through your WhatsApp contacts as well. So you have a few different ways to do it and you have a search icon in the corner here you can use to type in someone's name and search for them and try to call them through the portal as well. So this has just been a basic tutorial on how to use the Portal Mini. Again, the um, pre-video before this is the how to set up the portal and hopefully you watched that video first and yours is already set up and now you're just trying to use it. Uh, if so, everything should be nice and smooth. After this video, make sure you check out our tips and tricks on the portal video and that'll show you a lot more uh, of what you can do and just different options that are available. So hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Leave us a comment down below and let us know if um, the video was a use to you as well. Take care and have a good one.